to YouTube. I'm back at it with another video, and today I'm going to talk to you about mud hole. Well, not about about it, but I'm about the rod here. And as you can see, this is the rod. Very flimsy, it looks like, but looks like it'll be very flexible. But it's one of the stiffest rods I've ever owned. I mean, why is stiff? But um, when I'm done with this, I'm hoping that I'm looking for some a little something like. This. They're not like 10 colors or anything because obviously it's green. And we have the eyes on here, as for this one doesn't. And that's where you get the whole thing as a put together rod. And with this kit, it came like a motor. Like what it is, if you saw my last video, I mean, I said it's like an oversized screwdriver thing. And what that was is this right here. What you do with this, I'm guessing. Put it through the rod like this. It's gonna turn the rod something like that, and it's gonna you're gonna have your thread for your eyes. It's hold the thread, and it's just gonna wrap around the eye to tie the eye to the rod. And I'm hoping it goes out smoothly. I'm not promising anything. If you know me, I'm not a very artistic person. I'm very bad at art, as some of you know. So I'm hoping for the best out of this. Well, I'm hoping to get started on it real, I mean, very, very soon. So stick with the videos and you'll, I'll show you the progress, progress I'll make with it. And well, that's about all i got to say. And there's one more thing i got to say. Bed fishing. We all love it. I know some today I just caught a four pounder off of a bed. And, well, let's see. We are bed fishing, geese or jig. I mean, you can cast on that spot 15 times, you can fish it for 15 minutes. You're not catch that fish, but then one cast, you might not catch the fish, but that one cast, like after 15 minutes, you'll catch that fish. You gotta know that that fish is there in that bed. And one thing about it is if you put your rod down on what you think is a bed and pull up, and you see that there's eggs on the, eggs on the grass, that means that the, fish is still around. It's very close to its nest. Because the fish won't leave its nest very far. And well, I have trouble fishing one spot. I'm very patient when I'm fishing, believe it or not. But, I don't know if I should say that. But I've always enjoyed bed fishing. I haven't done it that much, but every time I do it, I enjoy it. It's fun. And you should give it a try. But, other than that, I mean that all. I mean that all. I gotta say today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like on this video, and I want you to subscribe to my channel. I have 94 views on my Tahuna Bin tournament video, which was two videos ago. I'm very proud of that. Which I think that's a good thing because I'm doing something with my life. I'm like, we're just gonna leave it at that, and. Well, I want to stick with this. That made me so excited when I looked at my phone this morning. I saw 94 views. I, mean, I never thought I'd get that many views on one video. video. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like. Please subscribe to my channel. I have 23 subs right now. That's not enough. I mean, you say it is, but I'm not trying to be greedy here. And. Tell your friends about me. Please do that. I mean, doggy doggies. Look, man. We have like five videos up and over a hundred subs. How did you do that? That's crazy. I mean, your videos are very good. I love watching them. I'm going to get to the point. I need more subs. And more views. So, like the video. Subscribe to my channel. And press that post notification bell for you. Don't miss another video. And as always, stay safe and keep on fishing. Because if you stop fishing, you won't catch a fish. Like, we all know that. Keep putting on line in the water. That's all I say. So, thank you for watching the video today. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out, everyone. Goodbye.